Welcome to our weekly Forex forecast. And this is where trading for the week of February 8th to the 12th, 2021. Just the quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar before we dive into the charts here. All right, so in terms of um, overall news, what do we have going on? Um, last week, we saw there was a lot of focus on the uh, stimulus bill getting passed. Um, so we'll see what that what happens with that. The, and also we have uh, impeachment uh, proceedings starting this week um, for President Trump. So that's another thing, although it won't have as much of an impact on the markets right now, because um, again, President Trump uh, won't really be able to influence things. So um, Biden's policies will be more the focus. I think the stimulus bill will be more important this week. But just to keep in mind, um, the impeachment proceedings will be starting as well. Um, other than that, in terms of what do we have coming up um, news wise here, we have um, investment conf investor confidence index in euro here for that will have an impact on euro. But Nothing major all the way um, till Wednesday here. This is where we do have the CPI, a monthly inflation number. So anytime these numbers are positive, they will be good for uh, the US dollar. And then we have Bank of England, Governor Bailey, and then also um, Powell speaking here for the US. So these will be important. Um, not really expecting anything significant um, in terms of the difference uh, from what they have said uh, previously. However, again, anytime we have the central bankers speaking, it can have an impact on the market. So this is something to keep in mind here as well. Um, other than that, we also have economic forecast here from the Eurozone. This will be important because now that uh, vaccination has started, uh, their outlook on what the economy is likely to do will be important here as well. And then we have preliminary GDP numbers from UK, but all in all, not a ton of um, critical data here. So from data perspective, this is looking like a, um, a nice uh, slow week here. Um, all right, so let's go into, uh, let's go over to our charts here. We'll start off with, we'll start off with Euro here. Um, all right, so Euro had been moving lower and didn't quite make it um, into 1.1920, bounced off of uh, the support resistance level here. So this is where we are, uh, where we saw the price bounce off. So now in this sense here, we are still into this upward trend here. So price is still uh, trending upwards, although we were getting that pullback. And now the question will be, will this sustain? So this is what I'm looking for. We may see a bit of a downturn here. And then if it holds, so basically looking for a pullback into this previous level here. And if it holds there, we are looking for a further move higher. So pull back into 1.2010 level around there or 1.20 and then a further move higher and potentially back into this range here. So this is where price was uh, trading for a while. So looking for price to go back into this range that it was trading uh, back into this one. So right now a bias is neutral and it is going to turn bullish once we see that continuation there, but we do need to see price hold. Uh, so I'm looking for a pullback and a hold and then looking for a con continuation higher. So I'm looking for uh, something like this, a uh, bounce off of this, this trend line and then higher move high and uh, move higher basically. So neutral uh, bias for now, and it's likely to turn bullish during the week. Uh, pound here, pound also, as we can see on the daily here, um, it bounced off of the support and it uh, turned bullish. So this is what we are seeing with the pound. It has been holding uh, this previous support resistance level. It's been holding this upward trend. Um, and this is where uh, as long as it holds here, it is bullish. So right now for uh, pound dollar, bias is bullish. Now we do need to see a move through this resistance level at 1.3750, uh, uh, but it is looking bullish. 
Now, keep in mind, though, it has been stuck in this range for the last three, four weeks here. It hasn't been able to get out of it. So for this one to continue, it is looking bullish, but we do need to see a hold above this resistance level. So in terms of targets, first target is 1.3850. And then above that, we are looking for 1.3965. So bullish bias here for pound dollar. Um, Aussie dollar um, here as well. Uh, price has bounced off of the support level. So now we are back into this range. So price has been stuck in this range for several weeks now. And as we can see, price is bouncing off of the support. So looking for a move towards the top of the range here, 0 0.7800 is the target. So bullish bias for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar here, this one has been stuck in a range as well. And as we can see, price has bounced off of the support level here. So looking for a move higher towards 0 0.7250 and then 0 0.7320 would be the next target. So neutral to bullish bias here. Again, for this one here as well, price is stuck in a range right now. This is the range it's been trading in for five, six weeks here. So what we have to be careful about would be a retest of the high, but if if it doesn't break, we could see this move higher. So this is why we have to see price close outside of the range for it to continue the upwards trend. But right now, this is still holding on to that bullish trend. And once it breaks out, we are likely to see this continuation pattern to the upside, but we cannot get ahead of this. So we need to wait. Once it closes on the other side, then we can take this move higher. So right now, um, a neutral bias for New Zealand dollar. Dollar CAD here, this one also um, is still in the range. As we can see, price has been stuck in this range. It's been trading here for several weeks. Now we have a bearish pin bar. So looking for a drop back into 1.2685 level, which is the bottom of the range. And then, um, or bottom of the immediate range, but the actual range goes all the way into 1.2620, which will be the next target. So bias here is bearish. It's been holding here. So I'm looking for uh, another retest of the low. Um, Euro pound here, big drop for Euro. And as a result, we have seen it finally break through the support level here. So looking bearish, next target here is 0 0.8720. So bearish bias here. And uh, what we are looking at would be something like this. So bias is bearish. And uh, this is the move I'm expecting. So target at 0 0.8720. Um, Euro Swiss franc here, this one is also looking bullish. It's still trading in this range though, so just keep that in mind, but it has been making uh, progress higher. So next target here is 1.0875. So bias is bullish here for Euro Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc just going through the roof here, looking quite bullish. Um, in this case, we uh, we'll look for a bit of a pullback right where it is 1.22, so 1.23, and then looking for a further move higher here. And in this case, the first target is, so this is what I'm expecting, something like this. 1.2400 is the first target, 1.2470 is the next target right into here. So this is a important support resistance level coming all the way from here. So looking for a move into that level. So bias here is bullish for our pound Swiss franc as well. Dollar Swiss franc here, this one um, is right into our resistance here. This is an important support resistance level. And now once we see more or hear more comments in regards to the stimulus bill, the stimulus bill is negative for the US dollar and is positive for the stock market. So anytime we increase the supply of currency, it's actually negative for the currency. And this is why US dollar took a bit of a hit there. And um, as we go forward into this week, if we see more talk, more positive comments in regards to the stimulus bill, bill being passed, that will also be negative for US dollar. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but here, for dollar Swiss franc, it is into a strong support resistance level. This candle has been filled now, and now we may see a move lower. So we could get a retest of the high here, but we are basically, this is the range it's been trading in. So we are looking for a move back into the range. So right now, bias is neutral. I'm looking for a retest and a drop back here. Target is 0 0.8920 back into this level here. So neutral bias for dollar Swiss franc. 
pound yen here looking very strong. Um, as we can see, it's just continue wants to continue higher. Our first target here will be uh, into this support resistance level here, and which is 145. And then we are looking at 146.80. So this is looking quite bullish at this point. Just gonna remove this so we keep it clean. So that's what we're looking at. Euro yen here, um, Euro yen looking, um, looking bullish here as well. So uh, same thing here as well with the stock market turning bullish, our um, yen crosses will also turn bullish here. So in this case, um, Euro yen here, this one is neutral to bullish. We see that price has held this previous support resistance level here. And um, it still needs to get out of this range though. Price has been trading. This is the range it's been trading in over several weeks here as well. Now, the good thing is it's holding, which means we would look this type of a continuation pattern. Uh, so it is setting up for a continuation pattern, but anytime we have something set up, we have to wait for it to uh, basically close on the other side. So I'm looking for price to go through this resistance. And once it closes, um, usually what happens is price will break out, it will pull back, and we have to see a hold above. So this is the place to take a trade, not the first breakout. But actually, once the, it pulls back and holds, then, then we are looking to continue. So bias here is neutral to bullish. Once price crosses the other uh, holes um, on the other side here of 127.25, then we're looking for a further move to the upside. Uh, target here, first target is 128.50, and then second target would be 129.20. So neutral to bullish bias, but it won't turn completely bullish till it holds on the other side here. This is an important support resistance level here for Euro Yen. But over the last few weeks, it has been trying to push higher. So bullish bias, but with caution here. Uh, dollar yen here, US dollar again looking. Uh, the problem with the US dollar would be it will get weaker. If we keep hearing comments, positive comments in regards to the stimulus, US dollar will get weaker. And this is why dollar yen may suffer as a result of that. So yen or safe haven currencies will actually get weaker, which is US dollar is one and yen is another one. Um, when we see a lot of uh, positive sentiment in regards to risk, which happens when there's a stimulus a bill getting released and stock markets take off. Off, and that is bad for the uh, safe haven currencies because we're in risk on mode. So anyway, so this is uh, right into resistance here. This is a range it's been trading in and this is a strong support um, resistance level here. So this is where we may see price go back into the range. So watch out for that. Only if we see a hold above here, then we'll look at this 107 level. But until then, bias is neutral. And once it crosses over, we'll look at this 107 level as the next target. Dollar yen, sorry, Aussie yen here also, um, as we can see here, it closed on the other side of the range here. So from weekly perspective, it just barely made it on, on onto the other side of the range. So in this case, uh, again, it's holding the previous support resistance level. So this is also forming that continuation patterns here, which is the flag uh, pattern, basically. So looking for a further move to the upside here. Bullish bias, watch out for the, uh, the resistance here. This is an important support resistance level. Once we see, again, we will need to see a bit of a progress, pull back, and then a further move. Now, 82.20 is the first target. 83.20 is the second target here back into these areas. So bullish bias here for Aussie yen as well. New Zealand yen, same thing, looking bullish. As we can see, it's still holding on to that bullishness. Next target here is 76.50. And then above that, we're looking at 77.50. So bullish bias for um, New Zealand yen as well. CAD yen looking quite bullish here. Um, and also uh, the OPEC meetings uh, from last week, basically um, uh, the OPEC uh, committee decided that they are going to make efforts to get rid of that extra surplus they have in terms of oil inventories and they're going to hold on to their uh, production levels and stuff like that, which means they're not increasing those, which is good news for, um, for oil. And as we see more money getting pumped into the economy, that will also be positive 
positive for oil because the demand for oil will increase. And also with all the vaccination and stuff, as the economies open up, that will be good for oil. Uh, as a result of that, oil has been good and hence Canadian or Canadian dollar uh, benefits from that because uh, Canada is a uh, oil producing country um, and oil is one of our big exports. So overall, this will be positive for Canadian dollar um, if oil continues to go higher. So in this case, we see that price has finally broken through this range. It had been trading in this range for a while and now it, um, it has closed on the other side. So I'm looking for this type of a move higher. So bias here is bullish looking for price to go higher. And in terms of um, targets, 83 and then 83.50 are the two levels uh, to watch for. All right, so let's take a look at our commodities. We'll start off with silver here. Silver has had a crazy journey uh, with all the hype about GameStop and Reddit and whatnot. There was a bit of a hike, um, a lot of hype, and as a result of that, price did push higher, but it has come back now. So it at this point, there is it's still overall though, it's still trading in this range. So this is the range it has been stuck in for several weeks, months now. And um, as we can see, it is into support at this point. So we'll have to see if price can actually hold above the support. But what may happen would be something like this, right? So we may see a move like that. Uh, so we'll keep an eye out for it. But basically, um, I'm looking for a bit of a pullback, uh, maybe a move towards 27.65. And then if that holds a drop back towards 25.90, and then a pullback like that, and then a drop. So a bit of a you know forward projection there, but this is kind of normally how we see the prices move. So we'll see if that happens in this case. So I'm going to leave these to 27.65 here and 25.90. These are the two levels. First, I will see I'm looking for price to bounce around in. Once it breaks through that, then we will look for this further move to the downside. But see how price was stuck here. We may see a similar scenario here as well. So keep an eye out for that. So neutral bias for that. Um, gold here. Gold is um, gold is also stuck in a range here. Uh, bias is looking bearish right now. We may see a pullback towards um, 1830 level and then a further move to the downside here. So 1770 is the target. So bias is bearish here for gold. Um, oil here looking quite bullish. This is what I was talking about. All the positive comments out of um, OPEC and all of that is bullish for oil. And as we can see, it broke out of that resistance after three weeks. So now this is looking bullish. Um, in terms of a pullback, we may get a pullback here. This has been a strong move. So this is what I would look for here. So looking for a drop and then a further move higher. So bias is bullish. 56.65 is where we are. So looking for a pullback towards 55.20 and next target is 59.70. So bullish bias here for oil. Copper here, copper also looking strong. As we can see, it bounced off of this support level. So looking for a move towards the top of the range here, 3.65 would be the first one, and then 3.69 is the next target. But as we can see, a lot of these are maintaining the bullishness here. So same type of flag pattern here as well. As we can see, price is holding. So, but we have to see it close on the other side. As we can see here, it was looking quite bullish, but then we are back into this range. So we do need to see a hold on the other side of the um, other side of the uh, resistance here or top of the range. Um, yeah, it is a, a reflection of the world economy here because this is exactly what's going on. Positive news about vaccine. Oh, it's not working out. All this kind of stuff back and forth, back and forth. And markets are definitely reflecting that. Um, all right. Bitcoin here currently at 38,000. Um, so here as well, same thing. So this is the same pattern we are seeing on so many different um, different charts here. Price is going sideways. We had this big move higher and now uh, we could see, but first, first we have to see price go through this resistance. So um, 
first target is this 40,000. Um, and then once price breaks out, then we'll look for 42 and potentially higher. But right now, the important thing is it is holding the support level here, uh, which is a bullish sign. And um, but the, the caution here again would be can it make through the 40,000 mark, right? So this is the this is the target 40,000. Once it holds on the other side, then next target is 42,000. So right now bullish bias, but watch out for the range, top of the range. It is still trading in a range. Um, all right, looking at stock markets here, looking bullish here, same thing. We see pretty much the same pattern across the board here. Price went up, it's holding, looking bullish. And now we are looking for a further move higher once it holds above here. Um, and it did close on the other side of the range. So this is the first time we have seen it close on the other side, which is a bullish sign again. So looking for price to go higher, 39.50 is the first target here and then 4,000. So bullish bias here for S&P 500. Um, and stimulus bill, all of that is anytime there's more money put into the economy that is bullish. So question here, if S&P 500 is bullish, does the uh, yen and Swiss franc weaken? Yes. So the safe haven cur uh, currency, so US dollar, uh, Japanese yen and Swiss franc will weaken uh, because of the risk on scenario. So in this case, uh, all the yen crosses, Swiss franc crosses, US dollar crosses are likely to go higher should the stock market go higher here. Um, so those are the that's the way to basically look at them all of them and see uh, and find trades. But anyway, bullish bias here 37 39 50 and 4000 are the next targets. NASDAQ here also looking bullish. Um, and as we can see, this is the range it was trading in. It just made it into the high of the range here. Um, and again, bias here is bullish. 13,800 is the first target. And then 14,000 would be the next target above that. So bullish bias here for NASDAQ as well. And same thing here for Dow Jones. We are right into the top here. Now with these ones, these two, we do need to see a close on the other side. So this was the range it was stuck in. Now it has crossed over. So in this case, um, the next target here would be 32,000. Um, and then we'll keep an eye on it. So actually I should say 31,500, uh, but 32,000 will be what the main target we'll be looking at. So bias here is bullish as well for uh, Dow Jones. DAX here, same thing. Price was stuck in a range and now it's right into the top of the range. But see, price did go into the top of the range and then bounced off. And this is why we have to be mindful of that. So bias here is bullish as well. Once we see a cross here, uh, 14,500 is the next target. So this is about where that is. So bias right now is bullish. Again, we have to just be careful and wait for the price to hold on the other side. FTSE here, um, not as uh, not doing as well as some of the other ones here. Um, here we see that price is sideways right now, and this one could get stuck sideways for a bit. But if the other ones take off, and this is likely to go higher as well, so that's what I would um, keep in mind. But first, we may get a sideways move here between 6600 and 6350. So watch out for the resistance level at 6600. And then the next target here would be 6680. Um, all right, and last one here, we have Nikkei. Nikkei also looking bullish. Uh, it closed right into the high. Again, this was going sideways. This is the similar pattern we had. We had move up sideways, another leg higher. It's getting stuck now though. So same thing here. If we see that stock markets in the US take off, this is likely to continue. Um, as well. And next target here is 29,500. So bias is um, neutral to bullish here for uh, Nikkei as well. Just the only concern would be to keep in mind that we see a close on the other side and then we go um, buying right now is a little tad early. Uh, we just have to wait a little bit. So a bit of patience is necessary here. All right. So that's all I have for today. Um, just to um, mention I will be going in for a surgery, knee surgery, nothing major, uh, but I will be under the influence of all kinds of uh, pharmaceuticals and drugs, so I won't be able to do the daily analysis, but I'll be back with the weekly analysis next Sunday, um, and then we'll start again. Um, also, I am um, 
um, announcement. We I'm looking at uh, doing uh, the Turning Pro Challenge again. I kind of postponed it because of the surgery, but this time we'll actually do a funded um, challenge. So we'll be providing. I'm um, I've tied up with somebody who can who will be take who are, who's looking for traders to trade a large fund. So if you're interested in that, the, we'll launch it on March 1st. But prior to that, I will do a couple of webinars and we'll you'll see emails from me in that regard. So if, if this is something that you're interested in, uh, please keep your eyes open, but it'll be same, it will be similar to Turning Pro Challenge. And that was the whole point of Turning Pro Challenge is uh, was to become a consistent trader. So and the next step now is to provide funding. So that's what we'll be doing. So there will be a 60 day um, or sorry, 90 day Turning Pro Challenge. And then you get if you're consistent um, again, it will not require a live account. You can show uh, um, a demo account, but consistency is the key. And then you'll be you'll be able to participate in the in getting funded as a trader and which then become a career. Right. So. All right. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Keep uh, keep your eyes open for emails from me. Won't be next week after that, uh, but we'll launch it on uh, March 1st. All right, you guys, um, thank you very much. And I will have a wonderful trading week. I'll see you next week again. Bye for now.